All right, coming back once again. We all know that the Antichrist try to take God's spot and try to do things that only God can do. But we see how Satan is the prince of this world, but Satan can only do certain things. He only has power that God has allowed him to have. See, God has set up those boundaries. And that's why Satan know he is defeated. Now, I want to just go, just for a short moment, and look at what God does. Well, first of all, when we think of God, let's look at the Antichrist. He claims to be God on earth. That's why when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, and he was out there in the wilderness, and he was tempted by Satan, Satan told him, man does not live off bread alone. But every word that comes out of the mouth of the Father. And Satan and Satan had to be gone off a few things Jesus said because there was nothing else that Satan can do toward Jesus. Nothing else. And I love how Jesus stays obedient. And he shows us how to go against that devil and don't fall in with the devil. Because Jesus was fasting. He was tired. He was hungry. So we look at God, there is only God. That's why Jesus told him, you worship God and only, he said you worship your God and only God alone. When Jesus talks about the Father, he don't play no games behind that. When it comes to standing on the word of God, Christians, we need to stand boldly and stop making up all these excuses. Now, let's look at God. What does God do? God changes times and seasons. Now let's go to Daniel chapter 2 verses 21 because we all know Daniel interpreted he interpreted dreams very well now when we look at 2 and 21 it says and he changed the times and the season he removed kings and set it up kings set it up kings sorry he gave it wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding that's God now look at what Satan tries to do he thinks he can change times and laws. Let's go to Daniel 7 and 25 to see what it says about Satan. Now Daniel 7 and 25 says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out of the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given unto his hand until the time and times and the dividing of times. That's Satan. I like this. Let's bag back up. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. That's blasphemy. And we can look all through Revelation. Remember when he said, when he came, to, when he's coming to look like God? Now remember Daniel also told us, when you see the abomination of desolation standing where it ought not be, that song of perdition, he's talking about Satan. So when you look at God, see God changes times and seasons. Satan try to change times and laws also. He thinks he can be God. He thinks he is higher than God. But oh, what do we see in the long run? The victory is already won. The victory is already won. Now, God, you worship God and only God. Now let's look at the Antichrist. Idol and saint worship. And when you look in Revelation, everybody, remember all the people started, all oh, this start. We need to worship this guy. He was talking about Satan because who would be able to stand against him? Now let's fast forward that to our times right now. Look at what the Satan, look at what Satan is doing to the church, your home, your family, your job. He's in the midst of everything. Your children. Satan time is running down, and people, I got a news flash. It's gonna get worse and worse. It's going to get worse before it even get better. This is why people don't like to talk about stuff. Because they want to hear it's going to get better quick, quick, quick. Now it's going to get worse. According to the Bible, the prophecies, it's going to get worse before it get better. Because we are living in some trying times. We are living in some evil times, people. We are living in some times where ain't no love no more. We are living in some times where it's people are killing each other over stupid stuff. We live in a time of starvation. We live in a time where earthquakes are hitting. People are dying by the second. Robbery. We're looking at murder. Look at all the babies being killed. Look at all of this stuff going on. These are the signs 
of times, but didn't the Bible teach us these things had to happen first and it's going to get worse and worse? Everybody looking to the president for help. Everybody think the president is going to do the job better than God. No, I love you, Obama, but nothing against you, but you are not God. It don't matter who's in the office. Listen to me, people. It don't matter who's in the office. You better read your Bible, study it, and live it so you stay on guard. I tell you, man, Satan try to mark everything. Look at his name, Antichrist, Jesus Christ. Because he once was with God, and none of us have ever been close with God like Satan was in the beginning. So that's why I want to do, I'm still talking about Revelation also. I want to just pause for a minute in between the videos and look at what God does and look at what Satan does. Now let's look at Daniel 20, 21 again, 2 and 21 again. It says, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removed kings and set it up kings. He gave it wisdom unto wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. That's God. And then Daniel come back and talk about Satan in chapter 7, verse 25. Let me read it one more time. It says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints. Listen at what it says. Wear out the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints? And think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into the hand, and a time and times and dividing of times. Let's look at that very close, and think to change times and laws. Well, let's look at right now. It's been messed up from the beginning. That's showing me once again, when man started trying to change time, well, let's look at the calendar very closely. Let's look at the past over and how it's not recognized in most churches. Let's look at December the 25th, which people call Christmas. They don't have nothing to do with Christ. Let's look at Easter. Let's look at everybody walking around talking about, oh, and he rose again early Sunday morning. He didn't rise up on Sunday morning. If people would study closer, they would understand that. When you look at the time Jesus was crucified, and if you got him coming up on Sunday morning, then you're looking at probably three days and four nights. I thought it's supposed to be three days and three nights. I'm just making a point how we change up everything. Look at this Good Friday, Halloween. We got all these all these holidays and, and, and stuff out that don't have nothing to do with the word of God. And God told us to keep his holy days. Keep his holy days. And we don't even think nothing about the Passover. Y'all see my point? Look at, let me read this again. And Satan, I'm going to say Satan, shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints. He's wearing the saints out right now. Ain't too many saints standing tall. That's why I did the video about the elect. Y'all see how I'm tying all these videos together slowly but surely. He's going to wear out the saints of the Most High. Well, I don't remember but one Most High. Satan ain't no Most High. God is the creator of all things. God created Satan before he was Satan. He was, I mean, he was good at first until he wanted to be hiding God. Good God Almighty. And he think to change times and laws. Well, look at what we're doing right now. This is going to make a whole bunch of people mad. We legalizing same-sex marriages. That ain't no act of God. First of all, God is not the author of confusion. Satan is. God is the author of peace. It ain't no peace on the land. Now, let's go back to that red horse in Revelation that came to take what? Peace from the land. And I'm going to let you meditate on that before I leave. God bless you.